Hi there, it's good to have you here again. I'm Oluwa Kemi and this is question 12 Economics Wasi Exam 2018. Let us take a look at this question. The backward bender supply curve of labor indicates we're given these four options. But before we go on, let us understand the basic concept of the supply curve of labor. The normal supply curve of labor we go this way okay take for instance this is the wage rate axis and this is the hours worked axis all right so it is under normal circumstances once the the wage increases you can see that the worked hours would also increase okay but something happens when the wages get to a particular level this is what happens the curve now begins to have something like this so it's it was increasing it was increasing until it gets to somewhere around there and it started you can see dropping started dropping as the wages increase these started the the worked hours the 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 worked hours started dropping that is people will substitute leisure for the paid work time and the higher wages will begin to lead to decrease in labor supply and so this is the situation that you find when there is a backward bending of the supply curve of labor so let us check the answer option option a says an abnormal supply situation of course this is abnormal this is the normal supply curve of labor situation whereby the prices increases and the uh, work time also increases but once we start having a backward bending supply curve i think this is uh, an abnormal supply situation okay so it is not option b which says this the law of supply it is not option c which says that labor supply and wage rates are directly related when it is on the normal curve or normal slope this applies but once this starts once the curve start bending backward this does not apply the labor supply that is the work time is not directly proportional to the wage rate okay so that is not correct and lastly that the elasticity of supply is uniform that is not the case with the backward bending supply curve of labor okay as we can see in the diagram all right i mean the diagram of the backward bending supply curve of labor all right so option a is the right answer thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye